welcome to our channel. If you are preparing for UGC NET or JRF examination, various states are research entrance examination and assistant professor recruitment. Kindly subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and do hit a like button. Please do share with your friends and do join our telegram group also from the link given in the description. So guys, uh, daily at a 5 p.m. my free live sessions are going on in the Unacademy platform for the paper 1 and paper 2 commerce. You can join by using my referral code Shiva Live to unlock the free live sessions. Right? Next, uh, if you are preparing for UGC NET June 2023 examination or December 2023, you can subscribe to an Academy Plus or Iconic subscription plans because they are complete courses for the paper 1, paper 2 of every educated courses you can able to access from all over India. So, from my side, paper 1 and paper 2 commerce batch course are going on. So, you can subscribe to plus which will cover entire 10 units of the paper 1 and 10 units of the paper 2 and the PDF study material and the mock test everything will be under one roof that is at an academy plus subscription. So here you can use the invite code Shiva Live to unlock the maximum discount which is asked for the offer of the an academy. So presently there is an offer which is going on which is having 25% discount that is 25% straight away flat discount on all the NTA, UGC net plus and iconic subscriptions. So if you take the 12 months, at a 13,000 only you are going to get a 12 month subscription. After using my code Shiva Live, you can able to get this offer and 10,500 for the 6 months. So instead of going for 6 months, try to go for the 12 month subscription if you are willing to prepare for December examination also. The same syllabus will be there for majority set examination. So it will be equally useful to you guys. So do subscribe to an academy plus. So Kyoto protocol in which year? In 1997 this Kyoto protocol. 1997 it got signed. And it got signed in the third conference of parties. Third conference of parties. This is established from the United Nation framework on United Nation Convention on Climate Change, Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC and it came into force with effect from which year? 2005 year onwards it came into force. Even though signed, signed in 1997 but came into with effect from 2005 only, right. So how many countries are there total? 192 countries are signed this Kyoto protocol. The purpose of Kyoto is to what? What is the purpose of Kyoto? So the main intention was to reduce Greenhouse gases emission by 5 percentage 2012 target. Later, uh, only 5 percentage. This is a first, first period. I will tell you there are two periods, two targets are there. First commitment period, second commitment period. Second commitment. First commitment period is what? 2008 to 2012. Two thousand eight to twelve. Here five percent reduction, five percent reduce in greenhouse gas emission. And next target is a by the two thousand twelve year five percent reduction in the greenhouse gases. By this is not to phase out the greenhouse gases emission. This is to reduce only. And two thousand thirteen to twenty is a eighteen percentage. Second commitment period is this has been asked by two thousand thirteen to two thousand twenty. In the second commitment period, how much reduction? 18 percentage reduction in the greenhouse gases emission. 
this is the second point and 192 countries are there kyoto protocol target greenhouse gases what are the greenhouse gases as per the kyoto protocol the list greenhouse gases one is methane second one is that carbon dioxide co2 third one is that nitrous oxide no2 after that even sulfur hexafluoride sf6 sulfur hexafluoride sf6 after that hydrofluorocarbon and perfluorocarbon hydrofluorocarbons perfluorocarbon pf6 perfluorocarbon hydrofluorocarbon and perfluorocarbon pfc right by these are the greenhouse gases now more than this what is there is there any other important points yes there are certain important points are there where let me tell you in this three mechanism mark and mechanism of the kyoto protocol where i can take a space ah hello let's take here mechanism of the kyoto so number 1 clean development mission what is that by three missions were there clean development mission cdm joint implementation emission trading clean development mission this is asked in the mass the following guys cdm as well as joint implementation also as multiple times after that emission trading right these are the three main components of uh, mechanism how the market mechanism of the kyoto protocol three main and about the carbon credit also we are having important point with respect to kyoto carbon credits so those are what is carbon credit here the greenhouse gases are there now with what equivalent you are going to measure that car measure that greenhouse gas emission global warming potential will be there so how will you measuring the global warming potential always this carbon credit is a one carbon credit is a tradable permit or a certificate that provides a holder of a credit the right to emit 1 ton of carbon dioxide the right to emit 1 ton of carbon dioxide means a maximum cap limit that we are putting on the countries who are 192 member countries this is a maximum cap limit that 1 ton of carbon dioxide that you can able to produce more than this you should not go this one carbon one carbon component is equal to one carbon component or one carbon credit is equal to 1 ton of co2 One ton of CO2. This is a right of a country to produce maximum this much CO2 per ton, right? Am I clear? Next one, boy. There are group of countries here. There are group of countries. Four types of group of countries are there.
don't want to take any chance that is why all the things are getting covered in the group of countries there are three annexures and one non annexer is there annexer number annexer number 1 in this annexer number 1 which countries will be falling developed countries like a usa uk china only developed countries usa uk china china right sir usa uk and russia i believe okay sir we are exaggerating the china right <laughs> usa uk russia are the three developed country under this as per them annexure number 2 annexure number 2 will be covering the second uh, uh, countries which are developed countries but have to financial assistance to economies in transition so th for this financial assistance is not required from anything like they don't require any financial support who are in the annexure number 1 annexure number 2 developed countries are there developed countries only but they require a financial assistance require financial assistance to execute these missions next annexer number 1 and 2 completed now annexer b most important annexer b annexure b is about compulsory target both commitment period to apply it so the 5 percentage and 12 percentage is there na this both commitment period targets has to be applied to the countries which are listed in annexure number b so the countries the countries that uh, two commitment period targets two targets have to be complied those countries are comes under the countries which are comes under fulfillment of these two commitment period targets those are comes under the annexure number b next fourth one is that what is the fourth one non annex countries non binding targets non annex countries non annexer non annexer countries are actually these countries which are listed in non annexer those countries no need to follow these targets to be fulfilled because these are low income growth countries it is very highly impracticable for them as per the financial strength wise it is impracticable for them to implement all these targets as per the timeline which is given by kyoto protocol that's why they will not go for this right screen unable to see i think visible but he okay, i am not writing uh, below than that i can see the screen right No, no, no. I have written only non-annexer countries, and here two targets have to be complied. Bus, two targets have to be complied. This is and last one is that. USA never ratified Kyoto Protocol. USA never ratified Kyoto Protocol. Point number one: USA never ratified this Kyoto. 
second one is that and here canada withdraw in 2012 canada came out of this canada withdrawn third kyoto protocol is the only global treaty with uh, binding on the greenhouse gases already we discussed this is the only treaty which is legally binding agreement for reducing the greenhouse gases emissions and top five countries of carbon emission top five countries by most important top five countries of carbon emissions those are number one China, US, European Union, China, USA and European Union, after that India, after that Russia, so that is about the entire Kyoto protocol all the important points have been covered here just do let me know if anything left over here everything is written by highlight and what to highlight in that this is a legally binding yes legally binding 